Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Thief Gold, where we left off last time we had just finished Return of the Cathedral, and because I know how this story all kind of culminates and comes together, I didn't want to, like, start the cutscenes and all of the plot development that's going to happen for the next mission. There's going to be some urgency to some things uh, at the end of the last episode, so this is what we're going to be doing. Right now, we're going to be playing the next mission. So, we finished Return to the Cathedral. Let's go ahead and continue. I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words, but perhaps Victoria can help me in that regard. She has such a way with them. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I gonna get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Bow to the woodsy lord and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. Bids ye then the spruces to sing her hymn and anthems, and the woodsy lord binders them fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me! I am the woodsy lord, the trickster of legend. If you be thirsty, flesh thing, drink of me. If you be hungry, then feed, for I am the honey maker and the jumpsberry. He am the leaf that feeders on the fleshed ones. Them that cause themselves builders and wielded up a hammers against him. My poor Mr. Garrett, you will not live to see the sprawling glory of it. Your sacrifice is not yet complete. My lilacs and my thistle blades must feed and die. Stand ye then in the greens and festive maw and speed ye of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing man. Danced we in joys and triumphs. With us, wo the woodsy lord danced the springs, these foolsy man. Rose the storms in shouty glee, the darkness in fiery glooms, the fires in happy greed. Danced we away and fed the sad, stringsy manful to their devourings for our thanks. Final fragment. They don't give you much time to read that last bit ever. This way. <clears throat> Look here, our path is true. In here? Yes. Since you left us, you have been a stone rolling downhill. Now you must aim this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. They come. What? Wait! The trickster will not forgive you for doing what he could not. Nor, I trust, will you forgive us. Keepers. Looks like I better get moving, or whatever those things are, we'll waste a perfectly good rescue. Okay, difficulty here. Get your stuff back. Constantine wouldn't put you through all this if he didn't have some serious plans for the eye. You'd better find out what. If you want to survive, you'll have to get out of here. Alright. Uh... Okay. So, we're gonna save real quick over Return to the Cathedral, escape. Let's freaking cover like immediately.
so as you can see we are back in Constantine's mansion Constantine was not Constantine he was the the trickster the pagan god uh, in the world of thief uh, it's kind of funny that you know in the second one we're, we're fighting a megalomaniac who has twisted the religion of the Hammerite order uh, to suit his needs whereas in this one we're actually fighting the deity of the pagan faction so um, and we don't really know what he's using his eye for something awful um, one thing that kind of I don't understand and I think I started talking about this in the last mission there we go okay we got our blackjack bag fantastic Go ahead and save. Um, was that the 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 eye seems to be have been responsible for all of the undead near the cathedral, and that's why the city had the big issue with the the undead and everything. I don't have anything in my inventory. Okay, um, the issue is is that spoiler alert. If you don't want to listen, just mute it or skip ahead or something. Uh, the Eye makes a return, actually, in Thief Deadly Shadows uh, in the museum. So, it's kind of interesting that the Eye is still around, but it's not causing, like, the undead to come out. Yeah, I remember this room. For sure I remember this room. Nope, that's not where I want to be. See, I'd much rather deal with all the pagan weirdness than the undead and crap, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and save. We're starting off with very little health. Um, we're gonna explore a little bit. That's that's the key to most of Thief. Nothing there. I just remember this being a huge pain in the fucking ass. This room specifically. Well, let's uh, start experimenting. What can we get away with here? Is that my brother? Blackjack looks a little weird. It looks elongated. I don't know what's going on with it. Keep forgetting to put my phone on silent when I'm recording. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I can hear spiders down the way. That'll be fun. make a save here we're gonna put it right here because I am done with return to the cathedral for probably the rest of my life if I ever play thief gold again in my my own spare time I'll probably skip that mission although there was some good stuff in there but I you know I think I've had my fill where are you going now buddy okay, okay. he's coming through here So I'm gonna go ahead and quick save real quick, and then I'm just gonna go out here. so bad was it guys I still can't find any fucking darkness to hide in I think that was the main issue I had it seems to have been toned down a little bit for thief gold I don't know for sure though but um, it seems to be that there are 
that it's it's easier to find darkness when you need to. Okay, well I don't think I have any rope. Oh yes I do. Oh fantastic. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save. Uh, that was the hardest part that I remember in this. You fucking rope, oh, come on. What the fuck, dude? Okay, we're gonna load that save. I think we, we dealt with this before. Um, once again, I feel like it's possibly T-Fix. I don't know. And again, I'm not trying to rag on the guy who did T-Fix. I think his name is Voodoo. I mean, the guy is, like, a saint. Because... Ultimately, the few issues I have with this game are, you know, sort of pale in comparison to uh, the benefits that this game, um, you know, being able to play at modern resolutions and not have any hardware issues and things like that, you know. So, uh, and again, I, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not trying to sit here and suggest that, like, oh, well, T-Fix fucks up the whole thing. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that, oh, yeah, here we go. Get used to a lot of that. We're going to see a lot. And this is what I love about this, the end of the game, is that uh, just the Looking Glass Studios, let's get nuts. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. I mean, that's that's kind of what they're doing here. They're just like, yeah, you know what? It, this is supposed to be about, like, chaos and nature and, like, the craziness of all that. And we're just going to have fun with it. So um, as frustrating as these can be at times, these levels, uh, ultimately they're super fun. I mean, they're super interesting. I just remember that first part. It was like, like the patrols in th the Dark Project, like never thinned out. You know. And also, uh, I felt like there were fewer places to hide. I don't know. I just like I remember the first time I played the Dark Project. I was just like, oh my god, I have no idea what to do here. Deftly done, deftly, deftly. Okay, now that we're, we're gonna go ahead and make another hard save. Let's save it at fucking generator. So like I said, I thought this was gonna be the hardest. And I don't want to speak too soon because... Yeah, make sure to eat the fruit. It actually... The thing I like about the fruit in these games, as far as I remember, there's less RNG on, you know in terms of how much health you're going to get out of the fruit, so. Now we can just sort of play this like like a thief game. You know, like a thief mission and just go through and just knock everybody out. Um, the next mission, as far as I remember, is not a particularly long mission. I just need to... stuck on his corpse. I hate that. Drives me absolutely insane. Another issue I've noticed with, um, could be T-Fix. Could have just always been an issue with Thief. Yeah, we came from there. Okay, yeah, that's, that was our original hidey hole. Let's go through here. Do I have any broad? Yeah, I've got some broad heads. Okay, so let's. Perfect. Oh, man. That is the stuff of legend right there. Excellent. Deftly done. See, when I'm in like a normal thief mission, that's not like fight 20,000 undead because for some reason this is a uh, Resident Evil or something. When I'm in a normal thief mission, I'm very happy. You know, I consider this normal. Yeah, it's lots of monsters and shit, but it's a hell of a lot more normal than...
Okay, I'm gonna load because you gotta hit the thorax, I'm guessing. Just turn around, buddy. Blimey! Alright, we'll get you, don't worry. Also, I'm gonna check my recording. Recording is good, sorry about that, guys. Just paranoid, you know me. If you've been watching this Let's Play through the, the whole way, you know by now, you know me. There we go. Conservation of resources. Okay, this is a lot of spiders. This is essentially what the last level's gonna be like. It's a little crazier. I feel like it's harder, although once again, when I played it the first time, didn't have too much trouble with it. It wasn't like, oh my god, it's so hard. It was like, ah, oh, okay. Damn it. Don't want to waste ammo if we don't have to. I'm just gonna flip right back. There we go. Nope, that was too low. Gotta arc it a little higher this time. I think that should work. We'll try that. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Have at thee! Where the fuck is he? Screw you. I don't like how they jump up like that. It drives me nuts. I have some hitbox issues. Don't know if that's what I would call new. Well, well, okay, we'll see if this is a wise use of arrows. Probably not because of the mushroom. I think we should maybe roll with it. I have a feeling there's going to be quite a few water arrows around here as we proceed. Let's see if there's a map. Oh, yeah, Constantine's Mansion, just whatever the hell's going on down here. Okay, it's a point of no return. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, frog beasts. Oh, fantastic. I think, once again, some of the... So, like, the Starburst device, I don't remember that from Thief, the Dark Project, for the Cathedral. So... Uh, well, we're going to save there. All right. We're just going down the list. I'm not going to try and, like make them make sense. Yeah, okay, there's another one there. I think we can peek out and get them through here. Better get some more broadheads here soon, though. Okay, our faith has been rewarded. Uh, we're gonna need a ton of loot for the next mission, too. I mean, in this one, we're gonna need a ton of loot, but also in the next mission, we're gonna wanna collect as much loot as fucking possible. Don't want to miss that one. Okay, back up to 10 water arrows. Our faith was rewarded. Wow, okay, it was... Holy shit, what a maze. I'm missing so many arrows. I'm very disappointed in myself. Seems to be a dude down there. Well, hold on real quick. if there's anything up here worth. Oh, that is a lot of them.
freaking spiders. Ah! You there? Hold it. Now guys, technically you can score a headshot on unaware enemies and kill them with one arrow. It's pretty hard to pull off, and I've noticed it's it's way less consistent these days. Probably nothing. Always nothing. We backed up to 12 arrows. It was down to 2 up to 12. Very nice uh, loot drop. Is it, how many spiders are over there? See how high he came up the sides there. I be trickster. Nothing now. What up? What see you here? Screw you! Come on. All right. Well, maybe we can. Nice. That worked fairly well. Man flesh threatens. All right, come on up here if you can make it. I don't think you're gonna make it. I'm gonna make another hard save, so we're gonna save at cemetery. Because I don't know if that was a good use of a gas mine, but once again, people, you cannot take it with you. Your inventory resets at the end of each mission, so. And if I remember correctly, this is not a huge cavern. It seems big because it's maze-like and there's a lot of enemies, but after this we go back into Constantine's mansion and either that or I find my lockpicks and I can just open his office door. Um, and then we get out. And that's it. That's, that's the mission. So It's not a terribly long mission as far as I remember. But okay, so we've thinned out the herd over here. We've separated some of these guys. I'm going to save real quick. Oh my god, is that a fire elemental? Are you fucking serious, dude? I didn't know that was part of the tricksters. Damn it! That was gonna get pro sniper move there. You see something? Haha! See, they don't have any ranged attacks, so there's not much they can do. Unless they can get up to here, which I don't think they can. Once again, guys, I, I have to point out that you could try and sneak through this, but look at the number of enemies, their patrol patterns. Like, sneaking through here is just not really a viable strategy. There, is, there are a lot of places, I mean, yeah, you have to use stealth to your advantage. You know, staying up here, pot, taking pot shots, putting down mines, dropping down when it's convenient to take them out. But ultimately, it's a lot of combat in this game. It's a lot of killing zombies, killing monsters, killing all sorts of whatever. Dude, fucking for real. Why don't you all just come over here? Uh oh. Oh, oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't even know they could do that. I'm out of here. I don't think I've ever aggroed one of those guys like that before. I need a place to hide. I don't have a place to hide. I don't have enough arrows to knock this guy out with. Or, I mean, kill him. I do have full health, though, so that's something. I think I, I still pissed off that praying mantis guy. He's so mad. I didn't know that they... Well, one of them at least has projectile attacks. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? Alright, well I took out two fire elements, so let's go ahead and save again. And we're gonna say like... Uh, I don't even know what to save it as. Let's go to maze. Because we're gonna make tamales. Thank you, 
fuck all of you. I'll remember you all in therapy. Probably one of the best SpongeBob quotes ever. What the hell is that? Uh, something terrible is gonna come out of there. I, I just know it. Do I have any healing potions? No, so I'm gonna have to get. Is jackfruit? I think it's called jackfruit. Like the thing that vegans eat uh, in place of meat. Which, I gotta hand it to him, it does absorb the flavors of, like, whatever you stew it in. So, if you want it real savory, you can make it real savory. Gotta hand it to him for that. And then also, it's, uh... It does have the consistency of, like, a, a, sh a braised or shredded meat. Something like that. Okay, we'll quick save. We've got a bunch of saves prior, just in case we totally screw up. Did I go down here to check out the the fruits of my kill? Didn't go down here yet. See, they shouldn't bunch up like that as far as I know. I wish I'd gotten some more coffee here. I may be finishing this game up today, guys. I gotta say, um, some of... Alright, I think I'm gonna try and... Oh, no, hold on. We're gonna save, and we're gonna try this. That did not work the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna try killing the frog beast. Like it's an explosive or something. Well, first we're going to test the theory, or the principle. Oh, let's do a little bit higher. Okay, so that, in principle, works, but it doesn't do enough damage. So we're going to load it. Actually, no, we're gonna go like this. I believe that was the optimum. So we're not gonna move the mouse, and then we're gonna wait for these assholes to come back. Okay. Now we're gonna make a new save. Got my bro. Taking some damage. Where is the uh, so I think I don't know if frog beasts were in the original Thief Gold. I don't remember that. save again because uh, this is actually working out better than I expected uh, and they've probably taken some serious damage <laughs> that didn't work at all what oh sorry convinced that at least some of the staff at Looking Glass were heavily into drugs when they were making this game, because this is just, like, what, what are these, like, praying mantis people running around? Frog be Yeah, and the, yeah, the frog beasts, the starburst device to open the gate, as far as I remember, all of this stuff was not in the original Thief. It was a Thief 2 stuff, and so when they're making Thief Gold, they're like, oh, this was cool, let's put that in Thief. Um, as far as I know, I don't know. Because the frog beasts are in Thief Two as a weapon. I don't remember them being in the Dark Project, though. Okay, that 
that didn't work. I just need to close some distance. If I could just get a couple of sword hits in, I'm sure I'd kill him. guys made out of adamantium? Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's go ahead and save again on crowd control, and I think that's an apropos name for the... Let's go ahead and... That should be about it. Alright, so... It's again like... There are very few, if any, spots in Thief 2 where you have to do anything like this in terms of like how you take enemies out, how many enemies there are, you know, how difficult it is to get through the mission without confronting enemies directly, how little opportunity you have to... Well, it looks like I probably had to come here anyways. Draws the scribed star, marks the compasses, the eye shows the marksy lines of power. Marks the compass boring, the compass leaf, the stormsy compasses, the flamesy compass, the compass tide stream, the compass stone, the compass darkness. Weights each star side, star, star sea point with elements of the compass, with pure truest. Weights the center with the eye, feed man's blood, sees the compasses and the blood trail to the true world. Each compass walks the earth, the elementals forth, paints the eye colors of heartsman chaos. For follow the eye back to the manzy world, binds the eye visions, gathers the sights, the glories, open folds the eye to see forth the world, blood called, compassion, comp compass painted, chaos fed, paintings on the world, the images showed. Okay, uh, that was as indecipherable as it sounded, guys, so, um, I guess that gave Garrett some idea of what the, uh, what they're planning with uh, the dark project but uh, to be honest i have no fucking clue what that meant that's not true i have some idea but not not a real strong idea okay i'm hoping i can get down off of here without dying oh no that's god damn it seriously game just let me fucking oh ah. well how am i gonna oh here we go here we go here we go yeah see the level designer was like i'm not that evil that dumb. I, I know how to level design. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll get you out of here, buddy. <laughs> okay, well, it appears that that was a good, sort of, arguably <laughs> not, but arguably, yes, good use of resources because we completed our objective. Now we just have to get out of Constantine's mansion, which is all I really wanted for Christmas anyways. So... Hold on, it said get my gear. I guess I got my gear, so I just have to find a way out of here. So let's go up. Yeah, I took care of this one. Alright, let's try it down. Okay, this is the way I went last time. And that leads to that area. And this is just water for water. And that's a fucking spider. All right, fantastic. Hold on, let's try something. Can you leave me alone? Is this, oh damn it, this isn't a portal. Yeah, just kill me. I'll worry about that later. 
I gotta get some jackfruit in me to get my health up, and then I gotta start picking away at their defenses. I do have a couple of gas arrows, which once again... But here's the thing, I do remember this. It isn't enough to just get out of here. You gotta get out of the mansion, too. And there's still guards in the mansion, so, and there's still the stone floors fucking everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and save and drop down here. Ugh, I'm dead. Nope, don't need that. Okay. Well, let's go back this way. Surprise! There's not more. Oh, hold on. Let's. Nope. Still no lockpick, so I can't get out through his office, which I would very much like to. Let's just go back and make sure we're not missing anything. There could be some healing items in the office. We don't know for sure that there isn't. I am regretting slightly that I... Hold on. Because fire arrows could come in handy, although they're not killing the enemies in one hit like they should, especially considering how rare they are. Yeah. Oh, that's why this door was locked in the fucking Constantine's mansion. I figured it was something like that. save here and we're gonna check out what's down this tunnel maybe we can just avoid all these assholes all you know all together oh my god have at the jump over that fucking thing? They have got to do something about the clipping with this. Jesus Christ. I can't get jump over that? Seriously? There's got to be a way to jump over that. That's insane. All right, hmm. Don't wanna go down that way, there's a million dudes. I think I took care of many of the fire elementals and stuff. So we'll just go ahead and save again, now that we've taken, gotten that spider out of that there. here. Uh, got my bro. Nope. Blessed. Yeah, blessed. I was like, it was, so, it was so hard to get there. I don't want to save over it. And I'm like, yeah, but we're not going back, so it's fine. I don't think I can survive that, but we'll see. Just needed a little... You coming down this way, buddy? Yeah, you are. Charging it up. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted blessed. Okay. Well, I think we can try and hit that creepy boy from here. Come on, buddy. Come on. 
don't want to be here anymore. I can just quick save too. I've made a bunch of hard saves. Oh, I don't know if that was the best quick save. Probably could have timed it a little bit better. Good, seriously? Try and take out this spider with the sword. Damn it. Avoid those fucking mandibles. And here's the thing why is it not killing them in one hit? What is going on with the damage output here? And that missed somehow. That's what I'm saying, like, it's an issue with consistency and hitboxes I'm noticing, and it's. You don't really notice it in Thief 2. I guess I didn't need to kill him, but I wanted to, you know? Um. Okay, I hear some guys coming down there. I don't want to mess with that. My god, there's fucking spiders everywhere. Yeah, you gotta be zoomed, you gotta hit the thorax. Okay, I, is that the one I needed to- I don't even need to kill him! Just wasting arrows. Okay. They could have redesigned this for gold, I'm not sure. It, I don't think they did. Okay, I could have just rope arrowed up here, I didn't realize that was wood. said we've got hard saves so That's what I don't understand. How did he get so many fucking sword strikes in? Fuck you. Come get me. Come on, bitch. I can't win with these fucking assholes. You, uh, oh my god. No fucking fuck. Returns to 
the earth, you do. Let me get a gas arrow just in case. I'm trying to save the spot. I just want to get out of here at this point. I'm done with this mission. Come on, bitch. Oh my god! I cannot win with these assholes. This is ridiculous. Are we done now? Jesus fucking Christ. Four dudes in one fucking area. Holy goddamn fucking shit. Excuse the profanity, guys, but what the hell? I'm gonna make a hard save here. I don't know if this is a good save. Uh, we're gonna go for a clear path. There we go. I don't know how much shit we gotta do in the mansion, though. See, they were all bunched up there, so there's no way for me to, like, try and get up here and do something different. Ooh, okay. I know where this is. The fuck is that sound? Okay, I'm on the first floor. I would love to have gotten out the balcony through the where I'm at right now, but uh, oh god! <sighs> All right, well, shit, let's figure this out. kind of flying by the seat of our pants here because once again guys it has been ages since I've played <laughs> thief one I don't know why they keep coming through here Save and try and get over here. Nothing I can do down here. So it looks like nature is taking over Constantine's manor. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah, I forgot. I thought there were human enemies in this section of the house, but there aren't. Nothing moves, I don't know what is going on with your AI, why are you freaking out over everything, but... First off, let's... What if 
I can throw this boulder to hurt one of them. Fuck you, go away. Fuck you, go away, leave me alone. Going down here. Fuck you, leave me alone. You can hop around all you like. I'm going down here. See, I think these were supposed to be stocked with, like, patrolling guards, but they all patrolled that one area because I think there's a, there's a bug or an issue, you know what I mean? What in the fuck? Wait a minute. Can I get, can I get up there? That could be a way out. I can't use a rope, there's nothing. I have nothing. Okay. Oh, nope, I hear fucking patrolling guards, fuck you. Leave me alone. I thought I made that abundantly clear. Alright. Yeah, like I said, guys, this mission could be hard. Not my favorite mission. By a long shot. I don't think we can survive a direct confrontation with the frog. Where the hell is everybody? Probably should have picked up that rock to throw at the frog. Let's see how much damage it does. That's a lot. We're gonna see if we can get by on that. I was not able to go quick enough because I thought I had timed that arrow properly. Ah, damn it. Wait, why am I saved here? Go ahead and load. Why am I? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. If you guys can't tell by the tone of my voice, I'm getting annoyed. Yeah, I I don't like this mission. I don't. It's not the worst, but I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of the haunted cathedral. You know. So, we're gonna go ahead and save again. It's not what we want. Maybe there's an arrow or something over here that we can use now. Okay. Oh, fuck you! Oh my god. What a fucking nightmare. through this door. This kind of sounds like he is. Okay, so I'm going to make another hard save. We're going to say we're finalizing, I guess. I mean, we're very close to the end, guys. It's just, it's getting more and more. And I understand the game is ramping up difficulty. But, um, as I've sort of said, you know, Thief 1 is just not as much of my jam. You know, there are some really stand out excellent missions here but then you know like you saw song of the caverns i didn't have that much trouble with it uh, i could figure it out pretty well this is just an incomprehensible mess i mean it's not terrible it's just
This is tile, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't care about the loot out there. Although the front doors are not far away. And there is wood for rope arrows. Hmm. I'm devising a new strategy. this guy let's try going upstairs see if we can't get to that balcony I wonder if this guy's really into chaos. I wonder if that's his big one of his big character traits. I don't know. I'm just I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's one of the themes of the story and and who the trickster is or who Constantine is. I mean even more so than the last time we visited his place. Uh, let's get the extra gas there. Oh, that can't hurt. I think we're nearing the end though, guys. I'm like like I said, I don't really care about exploring this level or loot. There's a couple of levels that get under my skin. This is it doesn't get, it, it just, I find it obnoxious, you know, so I don't want to be annoyed for a super long time. There's nothing over there. Carefully. Are you serious? There's nothing up here? Fucking assholes. Alright. Maybe if we go to the other side of the room down there, it might be something worthwhile. I'm gonna try and sneak up behind that guy too and take him out because I don't want to have to deal with his bullshit. So we're gonna save again. At least we got another gas arrow. We've got some offensive capabilities now. Yeah, I don't I don't think there are any missions in Thief 2 that unfairly stack the deck against you like this. I mean it's just like seriously. This and Haunted Cathedral just holy crap. We're supposed to get that diamond. I'm trying to conserve my water arrows here, but that was a waste of time. That's just ridiculous. How are you supposed to get that? freaking out. He's not he's supposed to either be patrolling or actually just turning. <laughs> you 
if the game gods are, are listening to my prayers, I could use some more water arrows, for sure. Let's get some more health here. I think that's a cutting board, not a book. Yeah, I think I'm right. Right. Let's carefully go back here. But of course, why would anyone want a level to be reasonable? I think that's the front door, so I'm gonna go. Damn it, little bitch. Come on, Mr. Hippity Hop. Let's rock. Damn it. What the hell is this then? I feel like I'm just wasting tons of valuable resources and I'm not accomplishing anything. Okay. Let's make another hard save. Uh, I thought this one was going to be pretty quick, but I guess I was mistaken. Okay, I think I you know, gotta get it from this side. There we go. Let's just go ahead and quick save. I know I didn't want to waste all those broadheads on that stupid frog, but part of playing on higher difficulties and just playing games in general is just learning to be like, all right, well, it's not the ideal situation, but I just gotta roll with it, you know? I do not remember this at all. I do not remember the game being like this at all. Wow, this is just an inc I have no idea where to go. Is that something I can pick up in the fire? No, it's just a knife. If this leads me back around to some place I've already been, or another dead end, I'm gonna fucking lose it. It does. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this just leads back around here. Well, shit. We're so screwed. supposed to do here? <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Three gas arrows. I'm out of mines because of the last area that was just like this. Just, I'm just curious, guys, because I saw this on. Nope. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and load. Will it take out at least some of them with the... I don't even remember where I am. Oh! oh I got another mine. Okay, so... How has they not set that mine off yet? Holy shit, all right, I gotta say, holy crap. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save over this. Holy shit, that worked out well. I think this is more of like a war inspector type mission where they're like, hey, uh, here's a bunch of tools. Try and get through it as best you can. Now that we made a hard save and a hard save before that. Let's see if we can't get some more health or something. I mean, the worst that Thief 2 gets is uh, Attack on Soul Forge, which, you know, hold on, do I have another, I have another gas arrow, so if I need to, I can take this jerk out. One thing that is cool is that it's like, I can't really stock up on stuff here, so really, you have to live by your wits, you know what I mean? You kind of screwed otherwise. All right. Well, I've got that gas arrow. I think I'm gonna keep it equipped in case what's his face wants to fuck around. This is that's the front door, so it's just straight out there. I kind of want to fight that guy though. I don't know how many more of them there are though. I mean, we saved, it's fine. Eat that, yeah. Let's eat this. Go ahead and save. Finalizing. Oy, oy, oy. It feels like the next mission should be the last, but it's not. We have another mission. That's as far as I remember. It's not too bad because you can stock up beforehand. And but then again, I you know, I remember this one not being that bad. But uh, lo and behold. this being tile either when I first came through here. off to us. It'll be nice to have some loot for the next mission too so we can buy some stuff actually. Right, we've taken care of all these guys.
I don't know why it hasn't given us the mission complete thing yet, but... There we go. Alright guys, that was escape! Ugh, not the worst thing in the world, but definitely a couple of spots where I was like, Jesus, just let me through! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and let's look at our stats. 25, 26, 56, yeah, well there was a whole section I missed, you know what I mean, where there, there was a ton of people patrolling. Uh, 50 minutes, 9 seconds, not bad. So far, we are 15 hours and 57 minutes into the game with only two missions left. Uh, damage dealt, healing taken 14, or damage taken 14, healing taken 15, man, so we were on the brink of death there. Bodies discovered by enemies, all right. The stone cannot know why the chisel cleaves it. The iron cannot know why the fire scorches it. When thy life is cleft and scorched, when death and despair leap at thee, beat not thy breast and curse thy evil fate, but thank the builder for the trials that shape thee. The Hammer Book of Tenants. This was not the way things were supposed to go. Constantine has the eye, and my eye, and I doubt he has anything wholesome planned for it. The trickster is real after all. I don't think anyone but those crazy hammers really believed in the old gods. Those crazy hammers. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a few dozen heavily armed fanatics on my side just about now. If I drop by their temple and explain things, Maybe they'll be so distracted by the trickster's return that they'll forget to hold a grudge. And even if they don't, I know how to get out of Crag's cleft prison already. <laughs> okay, strange bedfellows. Uh, the Hammerites have been preaching about the trickster for years. Maybe they have some advice on how to deal with him for real. But with all the trouble you've been... With all the trouble you've been to them lately, I was just like... Well, you trouble you've been them lately, that's not right. Uh, you'll have to sneak in past their guards to talk to someone in charge. The hammers will never help you if you make the situation any worse. Better stay out of any more fights with them. Alright, so we're definitely going to want some water arrows. Okay. Healing potion, uh, I don't know. Flash bombs, maybe not. But uh, moss arrows, we don't have any. Oh, we have one. So let's get... Okay, gas arrows, let's get two. Rope arrows, oh, let's get one. Always. And a healing potion costs 250. Gas mines are 650. No, thank you. Uh, 250. And how much are gas arrows? 500. We don't have that much. Noisemakers don't really use them flash bombs they could be useful so let's grab one of these uh, okay all right guys so this is the beginning of the mission strange bedfellows so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stop well first we're gonna do our obligatory let's save at the beginning unless in case it's too hard to finish on expert and then we are going to uh, switch over here and I think that's gonna be it for me yeah so we did escape um, as you can see it's pretty it was a lot tougher the first time I played it on uh, on Thief the Dark Project. Uh, it's because that first room you come into, the, the patrol paths are really hard to get around, and I just couldn't find a way to get behind any one of them to knock them out. So maybe there isn't an issue with T-Fix. Maybe it's an issue with the original uh, game where guard AI tends to bunch up. Um, and, of course, this is Dark Engine 1, and there is some significant... I mean, even if you're playing Thief Gold... You would have thought, they didn't have a lot of time working on Thief Gold, so I think they opted for making the missions, some of the missions larger and adding in new missions using the old tech rather than porting all of the tech into the, the Dark Engine 2. Because Dark Engine 2 obviously has colored lighting, I think the textures look better, uh, it's got higher color depth for the textures, so there's less of that, there's a lot of grays and like pinks and stuff like that that are supposed to be like 
gradient in between colors on a lot of the surfaces and the textures, but you can see in this game, or in, I mean in this game, but you can see in Thief 2, there's a lot, there's a lot more amounts of colors, just just the, the variety of colors and the, the gradients in between, uh, which is the color depth, obviously. So yeah, the color depth's better, there's colored lighting, um, AI seems to work a little better. Everything's just tweaked to work just better and look better in Thief 2, and I think Thief 2 holds up a lot better than Thief Gold for that reason. I haven't seen a lot of these AI issues. Even, I don't remember if I played on T-Fix last time. It, I could have, I could have not, I don't really, I think I did though, because uh, Thief doesn't support modern resolutions. Um, Thief 2. So I did play it on that, but I didn't, you know, same thing when I played System Shock 2, which is also Dark Dark Engine 2. Um, I didn't notice any of those uh, issues with the AI and, and noticing me out of nowhere and bunching up and following the same paths and things like that. So it could be an issue with this game um, specifically. Uh but anyways, yeah, I was I was afraid it was gonna be pretty tough. But so yeah, I mean, anecdotally, I guess it was it was tough like this when I played the and it, that was an original copy of the Dark Engine, which by the way I didn't find you know I didn't find any patches to make that work. There were very few of them out at the time. What I did was I had a Windows XP computer and I install I'm, I created a partition and installed Windows 2000 on it because that's not a Windows NT operating system. Um, and then I installed the Dark Project on that, and that's how I played it the first time I ever played it. So that was pretty much straight out of the box, no extra frills or thrills or anything like that. Um, and that was the original Dark Project too, not Thief Gold. And um, I seem to remember, yeah, I remember this that this mission was a big issue before, um, and it was largely due to weird pathing for the the AI. Right at that that first room, I'm telling you, I remember that like. Uh, like it's seared into my brain like it's like uh, you know like trauma or something um, and that's why because I had so much trouble with it before um, so anyways uh, sorry to get into all that with this episode but uh, yeah so that was escape we just have two more uh, as you saw escape uh, typically on normal I don't think it's that long it's probably less than an hour ours was less than an hour it's probably more like 30 minutes um, this next mission I believe I, here's the thing same thing with Undercover. I remember very little about Strange Bedfellows. I remember the beginning. I remember going in and having to do some stuff, but I don't remember the end. So I don't know. As we saw with Undercover, the reason I didn't remember more than the beginning was because that's kind of all there was. As long as you can find a way to open that switch and extend the bridge, I mean, that's all you have to do. Um, and... Uh, So I think it's going to be something similar in this mission. It's it's this is more of an expository mission to to put some story into the game. As far as I remember, it's not overly long. And then of course we will come be coming upon the final mission in Thief Gold, the Maw of Chaos, which is super awesome. Or I, I don't know if it's called the Trickster or the Maw of Chaos. I don't remember, but you're in the Maw of Chaos. And I think in my opinion, if you're going to have a boss fight in a stealth game, this is the way you do it. Either that or Thief 2, where you're just like, well, it's not really a boss fight, but it is the hardest fucking mission in the entire Thief series. The difference between Thief 2, uh, Assault on Soulforge, or whatever it's called, and, you know, like, Return to the Cathedral, is that as long as you have procured enough loot in the previous level, as long as you have brought a good kit with you, as long as you're observant, and as long as you know how to deal with different enemy threats... You should be able to get through it without completely running dry on resources, and you should have, you know, backup strategies for how to deal with this, that, and the other thing. And I don't think they restrict, you know, on higher difficulties they restrict what you can buy, but again, you don't need, like, special holy water for this or that. I mean, there's very few things, very few, there are no weapons, as far as I know, in the game that can only be used, um, or that you have to get some sort of special weapon to use against whatever, you know. Um... You're going to have water arrows which work against the machines in that level. You're going to have uh, gas mines and regular mines which will work against opponents. You're going to have a few broadheads. Um, you're going to have your blackjack. Um, and you're going to have some moss arrows too. Uh, and then the way they incorporate actually finding elemental arrows into the game is pretty clever as well. So that even if you don't bring enough moss or water or whatever, there's going to be some littered throughout the level. Um, so... Uh, 
that that's better than Return to the Cathedral because you can actually sort of equip yourself for all the challenges you're going to meet. What I noticed with, and of course, the Return to the Cathedral on normal or hard, you're going to have access to water in the in the mission briefing screen. You know the the shop. You're gonna or holy water. You're gonna have access to more water arrows. You're gonna be able to buy more fire arrows. You're gonna be able to buy more flash bombs. And uh, I didn't bring as many flash bombs as I should have because they're typically not very. I, I noticed it took about five of them to kill a zombie, but the thing is, is that they severely weaken the hammer haunts. So my recommendation for anyone playing Return to the Cathedral, because um, you you if you're gonna play an expert, you have to kill all the haunts. So I would bring the, um, that's the only way I could kill them in the beginning, I'd bring the flash bombs with you. Um, but it sort of highlights too, you know, I remember playing Ass Assault on Soulforge and there were many of the mechanist uh, robots that I left intact. There were many guards that I didn't bother knocking out. Um, there were many security systems I didn't bother no uh, disarming or dismantling or whatever, or destroying, because there were multiple ways around them and stealth was always a pretty viable option you just had to be um, observant about your surroundings i've noticed thief gold especially the missions where they want them to be nail biter missions is a bit more linear or or sort of circular paths that loop loop in on each other but they don't have cross member paths you know like if you look at the city of paris it's kind of designed like a wheel you know it's circular it loops in on itself but then there's like these spokes that go through the city so that you can cut across and get to, you know, halfway through the circle or whatever, wherever you need to go. And that's kind of how Thief 2's mission structure can be, you know. There's a general circuit that you'll follow to get through them, but uh, through the circuit there are a lot of uh, cross paths and other ways that you can go. I've noticed a little bit less of that in some of the missions in Thief Gold. I think, again, one of the reasons that I would say it's not as good as its um, successor. Um, one of the things that's frustrating to me, although I will I will give credit where credit's due, I'm very happy that in this mission they did not make me have to go through those throngs of of praying mantis people and and monkeys down below. I'm very happy that I could just uh, circumvent them by going through the spider tunnels. Although then I had to deal with that, and again I think that the guards in that tunnel where I laid down all the mines, I think they were supposed to be more evenly spaced out and have have independent patrol routes so I could try and knock them out individually. And you'll notice in Thief 2, that is how it is. I mean, there may be a ton of guards in an area, but they will typically be sort of spaced out just enough, and some of them will have some patrol routes that you can get around them um, uh, or knock them out individually and sort of pick them off. You know, kind of how once the Return of the Cathedral level opened up, that's typically how the Hammer Haunts were. They didn't all take the same path all the time. They spread out, and so you could kind of pick them off one by one. Um... Whereas in, in in this level, I mean, you just have to run straight through them all. Now, the tactic I used when I played the Dark Project for the first time to get past that, I do remember that last hallway too. And I remember that being a bitch. I think what I did was I threw some flash bombs and ran, or I just straight up ran. I ran for the door, and I got out, and I just kept running around the house till the mission ended. Um... So that, you know, that's how I did it the first time. But um, um, they kind of, I mean, yeah, that's a viable strategy where you could say, like, oh, you're not forced to deal with them. But if you want to see what else is in the level, and I guess that's my issue. In Thief 2, if you want to explore and ghost, you can kind of do both. You know what I mean? Um, or at least in your when you're exploring, you can stay stealthy for the m most of the mission. And that was sort of possible in, in Song of the Caverns. But keep in mind, a lot of the lessons that they learned when, after making Thief the Dark Project and a lot of the feedback and criticism they got went into making Thief's 2 level design that much better. And Thief 2 and Thief Gold's missions were designed in tandem. So I have to believe that some of the additional missions added and some of the changes made were to the benefit of the game because they made it... Uh, those missions seem more ghostable or they seem like missions where you can freely explore most of the level without having to knock absolutely everybody out without having to engage enemies and then of course the 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 levels that are um specifically from the original dark project have a lot of bricks zombies hammer haunts ghosts things that are difficult to sneak around um and you may have to engage especially because they come in such large numbers i mean uh, think about the cemetery that we just 
visited in Return of the Cathedral in the previous episode, there was, what, eight zombies in there that we killed? Between six and eight zombies, all in the one little area, all on independent paths. I really seriously doubt that Looking Glass Studios was like, yeah, someone could totally ghost into this graveyard and perform the ritual and dump the two bodies in the graves without being spotted. No, 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 no. They, I think they fully intended for you to go in there with some holy water and a couple of water arrows or something and, and clean house. And that's because they had a different they had a different set of principles and design philosophy for parts of this game, you know, and they wanted to mix things up. Whereas in Thief 2, they're like, you know, it's a game about being a thief, so these should be about, like, heists or breaking into places to get something, you know. And, and there, I, like I said, I may have mentioned before, I don't think there is a single mission in Thief 2 where I roll my eyes. The only one maybe being the one where you have to tail the... Uh, the inspector through the town and then but that's but the cool thing about that one is the sec or no yeah that that one is a little bit eh. but it's not too bad it's not terrible um and it doesn't make me go oh crap not this one i usually just go like yeah it's not my favorite but what you know it'll be over soon um and then it's followed up by again a tailing mission but it's uh, some of the most inventive, interesting level... It's a lot like this level design from Escape and Mob of Chaos and stuff like that, so it's... You know, it engages the player because they're like, wow, I just want to see what the next room looks like because they have these different rooms, too, that are, like, themed after the seasons and they've got all the... It's really cool, so... Um, that's a great mission, too, and then that leads into the best mission in the entire Thief series. So, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, they definitely learned a lot of lessons, and I think that's why the additional missions put into Thief Gold work so much better. And they actually help the game feel a little bit more balanced and less like, oh, it's just like a ton of zombie levels. You know, you get a quite a nice break from, from dealing with the undead for a while before Return to the Cathedral, which is sort of the penultimate, like, deal with the undead, deal with all the supernatural spookiness um, level. And... Uh, Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, and then it brings it back down to like, okay, now we're going to do escape and it's more traditional. Well, it's traditional sort of ways of dealing with the enemies, but it's it's a whole new enemy roster. And you, know, you got to deal with the praying mantis men and the monkey men. And um, I think the cray men were originally supposed to be in this level too. There seems to be a, a severe lack of the cray men, but um, basically it's, it's, a, it's a much better balance of like heist missions to like, spooky missions where you have to fight a bunch of stuff and like puzzle solving missions um and uh, i think thief 3 kind of went back to some of the roots of thief gold you know the shale bridge cradle you're as far as i remember you're not really there to steal anything you're there to find out about you're there to investigate and uh it is a spooky sort of puzzle solving you know backtracking mission but the difference there is that the threats that are there i mean as long as you've been praying playing properly not only can you sneak past all of them and you're not they're, they're never in such abundance or in, or have pathing in such a way that requires you to take all of them out um but also you should have enough uh in your inventory to dispose of them if you want to play it that way you know uh so yeah thief thief um deadly shadows deals with these kind of levels much better and they are there they're just they deal with them better, but most of the game in Thief Deadly Shadows is about heists and, and, and breaking in and stuff like that. So I've talked enough. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. So that's going to be all that there is from me today with our Let's Play of Thief Gold. I hope you enjoyed this episode, Escape, um, and check out the upcoming episode, which is um, Strange Bedfellows. Thanks for watching.